Hello there and in the last video we had seen how to import the pandas library and uh, import the uh, data set into the data frame so we had created one data csv and we had seen how to import different types of data set that is csv then we had done with the excel and then we had done with text files so in this video series i'll be showing you how to create a copy of original data that is creating a new data frame and then uh, I will show you different attributes of that data and how to recognize that and then we will do indexing and selecting the data from a data frame so for this tutorial I will be giving you one more uh, CSV file so this CSV file will contain uh, let me bring that okay this CSV file will contain data about cars so this is called toyota.csv in that we have price, age, kilometer, fuel type, HP and all those detail weight etc. So I will also upload this on the github repository so that you can get it easily. Uh, so what we will do is let's just do os dot list there I are I think we are mm, okay. We will run it again. All this, and now we don't need to read the CSV file, we'll directly go down and we'll just run this. Okay, we have to comment this. This is Windows now. If we run, you can see Toyota.cs we have put in the same directory. So now we'll go down and uh, so what is a data frame? Data frame is a two-dimensional uh, data structure which contains rows and columns and these are mutable that is you can change the values of these rows and columns and okay now we will also import numpy so for that just call import numpy as np so we will call np when we need to call numpy okay so that is done and now we'll just import the data into the data frame so cars data is our data frame so we'll read the uh, csv toyota dot csv okay our data frame is read so we'll just see the values of uh, the data frame so we'll get something like first six values mm, okay so i had shown you in the earlier video how to remove this uh, unnamed zero that is index column so for that you need to just include index underscore col go ahead to zero so this will set price as the index column okay so this is done and you can see some uh, missing values are there so in python there are two ways to create copies one is shallow copy and uh, two ways of copy in python one is shallow copy another one is deep copy so so what is shallow copy so shallow copy is a uh, like it only creates a new variable that shares the reference of the original object so we are not creating a new copy we are just uh, sharing the reference to the original object and any changes made to a copy of the object will be reflected in the original object as well so if you change this new set data frame then the original data frame will also change along with that so this is like a linking so in unix we have something called as uh, symbolic links so there we have hard link and soft link 
so this is kind of soft link when uh, it contains only the reference and if you change the uh, ref uh, referenced object then it will also change the original data so deep copy is like it's copied in another object with no reference to the original so there is no reference to original and a new copy is created from the original data and any changes made to a copy of that object will not be re reflected in the original object so original is object is separate and the new object is separate so separate, uh, deep copy is this one so how to do shallow copy and how to do uh, deep copy let me show you so shallow copy so for shallow copy if we have like uh, we will take sample that is sample equal to we we'll call the data frame and then we will copy function inside that if you pass deep equal to false so we are not doing deep copy so it will be false so what this will do it will create sample as a soft copy or shallow copy so if you want to make it as a Um, let's say deep copy so you can just make it as true so what this will do it will create a deep copy so now you understand what is the difference between deep copy and shallow copy now we can go to the attributes of data so data frame contains indexes so to get the index of row table row labels of the data frame you can do as uh, cars data one okay so what we'll do is we'll create a new data frame a deep copy data frame so cars data one and it will be a copy of cars data and it is it will be deep copy so that will not change the original data okay so now our cars data one is created and now we'll just pass dot index so if you press enter you can see around one four three five rows are there total if you it start from zero so it is actually one four three six and if you want to see the columns you can do cars data one dot columns so these are the columns price age kilometer fuel type and the data type of that is object okay so you just put a comment here and this one is So this chapter is about attributes of data where okay, this is done and then if you want to see the data frame size so what we can do our, we'll take our data frame cast data one dot size so what this variable does it will show you the size of the data frame that is 14360 so this is the total number of elements from the data frame and if you want to see the dimension of the data frame you can do cars data one dot shape so what this will do this will show you the how many rows are there and how many columns are there I'll just comment and here So this is done. Now we'll see the uh, memory usage. So how many bytes of memory our data frame is using? So for that we'll call a function memory underscore usage. And if you press Shift Enter, you can get uh, the memory usage of each column in bytes. So price is having all the columns will have same number of value bytes allocation so 11,488 bytes okay 
So if you want to see the number of axis and array dimension, let me make it as and if you want to see the number of axis and the array dimension, what you can do is cars data one dot ndim. Okay, so if you press enter, so there are two number of axis or array dimensions. Now we'll see indexing and selecting data. And selecting data. So for this, we have a slicing operator in Python. So it's open and close. Let me zoom in. So it's open and close square bracket. And we have another one as dot operator. Okay, these are used for indexing. So this is slicing operator and this one is dot operator what this one does is they provide you quick and easy access to pandas data structure so i've already shown you how to get starting six values or five values so if you pass like cars data one underscore dot head now you can pass any number of l n number of value here i will just pass first 10 so it will give you first 10 um, rows so by default it uh, returns first five rows if you want to get last five values you can use tail for that so this is useful for quickly verifying data after an example after sorting or appending rows so now we'll just see how to index and select the data. So if you want to access a scalar value, the fastest fastest way is to use the at and IAT methods. So there are two methods at and IAT. Okay. So what at does is it provides you provides label based lookups okay and what IAT does it provides integer based lookup just copy and paste and we'll type integer okay this provides integer based lookup so let's see if you want to get fourth label and the uh, data type so what we can do we can just cars data one dot at so we have to take the slicing operator inside that we have to pass one two three four if you want to type as real type so we can just pass four and then real type okay if it does if you do this you will get diesel this is like label based so you can pass a label here along with the value so if you want to do integer based so for that what we can do is cars data one dot it the slicing operator and set that okay so it's fourth row sixth column fourth row sixth column yeah and we had done label based so inside that four and fuel type fourth row fuel type column so inside fourth fuel type we have to see fourth row so it's this this value so two comma two let's see okay so second row second column we got four one seven one one yeah that's good if you want to access a group of rows and columns by labels so for that you can use slicing operator okay so what this can be done using this is uh, you can just pass 
the data frame data on dot so we have loc that is location using groups of columns rows and columns so for that we will take all comma till fuel type t is capital okay enter so for all the rows for all the rows of type fuel type so all rows of column fuel type yeah so this is how you do a group of uh, rows and columns by labels so this is how you index and select of uh, data so for that we have hello scene then we have add and it methods so this is how index and selecting data works on data frames.